back to Susie's Pilates, a good all over workout today for the full body. All you need is yourselves, a towel and some water. Okay, so standing with your feet, hip distance apart, just look down at your feet forward just to get started, shake the body out. And then we're just going to take our feet and just go backwards and forwards, just have a nice warm up, loosen up the neck, shoulders, take a deep breath, inhale, palms up towards the ceiling and then exhale, push the palms down. So we go again, breathe in, take those palms up and just breathe out. So just get your breath, think about where you're feeling tight today, where you're feeling uncomfortable. Deep breath in, inhale. And then you're just gonna exhale, I want you to come forward for me. So on a scale of zero to 10, you're just gonna pull them tummy muscles in to level four and just stay here with the hands, palms are facing in together. We're going to soften those knees and slowly just roll up through the spine for five, four, three, two, one. Go again. Deep breath. Inhale. Really important that we warm up. Exhale. Take it forward. Breathe out. So just letting that back of the neck relax. Soften the back of the knees. Let the shoulders relax. So nothing to be stiff about. Letting it go of any tension. Breath in. Breathe out, tummy muscles pull, muscles pull into level four. You're tilting your pelvis slightly towards me as you come up. And then exhale and take it down. Now you're gonna take your hands in prayer position. We're gonna take it to the left hand side. And you're gonna keep your feet facing towards me. And then we're just gonna to squat to the side with your bum back and then a little squat. And then we go the other way to the right. Little squat, so it's just to the side. Now just a couple of pointers. It's not about how far you lunge out, it's about how far and into that little squat you put your bum back, okay? So I'm thinking about the gap between my shoulders and my ears, and then we just take it into the middle. So we just got 18, yes, I'm doubling up on this, 17, so I'm really going to fire up these legs, 16, 15, push that bums back. Just be aware that your knees aren't tracking over your toes. It's just going over your ankle. Keep going. You've just got 14. And if you want to make it harder, you can advance this. Don't forget. 12. And down. So you're saying the baby squat here. And then out. Little squat. And then out. Keep going because you're nearly halfway. So we just got 10 and 9. So we're just getting that blood flowing. 8, 7, 6, 5, little squat, 4, 3, 2. Don't forget breath take, get to breathe. Last one, now stay here. Now give me little pulses. So my feet are out, 20, my bum is back, 90, 80. Think about that gap, 17, tummy in, 13, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now hold it here, 20 second hold, 18, 16, breathe, 15, 14, 13, breathe, 12, 10, get down, 8, bum back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, into the middle, stay down, give me that other pulse, 20, 19, and now, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, so I'm just pushing my palms together, 12, 11, we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, 20 second hold, hold it there, 20 seconds, 18, 17, 16, breathe, I just want to thank you all for all your support, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 from overseas, 6, thank you so much, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take it down, take a deep breath, inhale, and so I'll take it up, Ooh, take it out, okay, so from here, you're going to go into a curtsy lunge, okay? So we're going to take the legs back. So again, if you've got weight on you, one to three pounds, one to three kilograms, 
I don't believe in bulky because I think with Pilates, you're using your body's own resistance. But if you want to add a weight, you can by all means, because it's about the quality, okay, of the exercise. So just a couple of pointers as we lunge back. I'm doubling up on these, okay? Your hips are facing me, so try not to turn the hips, okay? So we just take it 11, and back. 10, and back. And nine, and back. You're warming up now. Eight, and back. And everybody in South Africa, six, all my team at home, thank you so much for supporting me from all over. Five, and back. Four, and back. Three, and don't forget to like and share this page. Give me a thumbs up after you've finished your workout. Last one, so we're coming back. Now you're going to turn your hips, make sure they're facing me. Little pulses, 20. 90, now if you want to make it harder, you can draw those shoulders back. 70, 60, 15, breathe. 40, 30, 12, 11. Now remember what I always tell you about your middle fingers. 10, 9, so even if you're here, 8, 7, you make them nice and strong. 6, so you're flexing these muscles. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're going to give that static hold for 20 seconds. Just make sure that your hips are facing me and that your shoulders are dropped down. Breathe. 17, you're going to shake, 15, 14, 13, stay there, 12, 11, tummy in, 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now we're going to come down, you've got feet on the leg, so take it to the side, hips towards me, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, breathe, 40, 13, breathe, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe, 5, 4, 3, breathe, 2, 1, 20 second hold, hold it there, 20 seconds, 18, 17, 16, breathe, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, to modify if you need to, just to bring your hands down, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one into the middle, shake it out. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Okay, so you're gonna give me another one of the squat outs. So we're coming down into a baby little, little squat, and then lunge out. Baby squat, and then out. So baby squat, and then out. Baby squat, and then out. 18, and then out. Baby squat. I know I'm confusing myself here yeah, now. 17. And then out. 16. And then out. 15. And then out. 14. You know there's some days that you just really just want to go straight into a 12. This is a day like today. Good one if you've had a hard day. 10. And you just want to let go of all that frustration. 9. And squat. And eight, keep that back nice and strong. Seven, bum back. Six, bum back. Your feet are facing me. Five, so just watch your feet. Four, back. Three, back. Two, back. Last one, now stay here. Give me that little pull. Six, 20, 90, 18. So you'll feel it right in here. 70, 60. 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 20 second hold, 4, breathe, 3, 2, 1, give me that 20 second hold, stay down, 20 seconds, 19, watch those knees, 17, 16, breathe, 40, 30, 12, breathe, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we're going to that baby squat now, 5, Four, three, two, one, stay down. Other side, pulse, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. So I'm just aware I'm, I suffer from scoliosis on this one side, left side. 
I'm aware that I'm hunching through that dominant side of mine. So normally if you're right-handed, you'll feel tighter over the right side. Just be aware of your position. As long as you're aware and you're moving right, that's the best thing. Keep going. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7. Don't forget there's different works out on here. 6, 5. So today is an all over body. 4. But the smaller workouts, tummy workouts, 3 that you can do. 2. One, stay here, 20 seconds, 80, 70, 60. So you can take it up, you wanna make it a little bit harder, but I'm gonna stay down for your benefit today. 12, 11, my own movie, 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going, six, breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, well done, shake it up. Okay, take some water while you've got the chance. We're gonna go back into those curtsy lunges. So, feet are distance apart, your hips are facing me. So you're just gonna lunge, and then we take you back. 90, 80, a little bounce in the middle. 70, little bounce. 60, you don't have to, you can just keep it down. 50, just gonna take it up a little bit. 40, and bounce. 30, I'll lay off these legs in a minute. Okay. You've got ten, 12, sorry, 11, little bounce, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, so just cutting this in half, four, breathe, three, get ready with those pulses, two, just 20 seconds now, one, take it back, give me that little lunge back. Give me the pulse for 20, 19, want to make it harder. 60, 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, so that middle finger, 7, 6 or here, 5, 4, just be aware of your posture, 3, 2, 1, hold it, 20 second hold, 70, 16, breathe, abs it at level 4, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, three, four, three, seven, six, five. Can you get down? Four, three, two, one. Take it over to the other side and pulse. Go. 20, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 12 left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep going. 5, 4, 3, 2, 20 second hold, hold it 20 seconds. I know your legs are gonna give way in a minute. Mine are two. 60, 15, breathe. 30, 12, stay there. 10, eight, six, four, two, and one. Take it back, well done, shake those arms up. Okay, come onto the floor. I'm gonna give you a little break. I'm gonna go onto the arms. So your hands are facing in towards your body. Okay, you can come into full, Reverse plank if you want to. I'm gonna stay in modified plank. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. So I'm gonna join you. All right, just because I feel I need to. Okay, so my hands are in. So foot is flexed. Here, little squat. So foot flexed. Here, and bend those arms. Here, here. Now you can modify this by look, just doing this. Okay, but I want you just to try and do as many of these as you can. Keeping those hips up towards the ceiling. So just look straight ahead of yourself. You don't have to look at me. You just concentrate on the part of the body that you're working. And I'll count for you, okay? So if you've got wrist problems, take it down. 17. I'm just looking at you to check you're doing it right at home. 16. And squat. 15. And bend those arms. It's lunge, sorry. Down, 40, keep those feet flexed, down, 30. So I'm just tucking my chin slightly into my chest, 12, 11, keep going, 10, oh I'm missing you all, I tell you, but it's so nice to hear from a lot of my overseas clients as well, friends from home, keep going, well I've got two homes. Keep going for me, come on. I'm also feeling it, I'm getting tired now. Nine, 
You do what you can. Eight. Squat. Seven. Breathe. Six. So when you're coming down and you're bringing those arms, I want you to try and bring them together, okay? So it's a cheeky little push down. Keep going. Because we've just got five left now. Five. Four. Three. You're warming up now. Two. I am. Last one. One. And take it down. Well done, circle through those wrists. You, are, you can feel those arms, Nick. Okay, so from here you're going to come and then we're just going to give our backs a good stretch out. So I want you to think about posture, 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 okay? So you're just thinking about you're growing a crown on top of your head and your back is nice and straight. Then you're going to take a deep breath. You're going to inhale like you're going over invisible ball. Okay, you just want to come over. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale, take it back up and then bring your shoulder blades back where they feel comfortable. Don't hunch around the ears. Now you're going to make a C shape with the spine and you're just going to roll down all the way and then just give your back a good elongation, give it a good stretch out there, let those ribs flare, a lot of the time they don't flare, but just take your breath here, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale and now take it down. Now, like I say to a lot of people, when people say to me about imprinting the spine, what you're going to do is you're going to take your coccyx, you can see that there's gap here between my lower back and uh, the mat. Now you're just going to bring and tilt the pelvis up towards the ceiling, okay? And your shoulders and your arms are relaxed. And then we're going to do a little bit of hamstring work. So you're going to plug your shoulder blades into the ground, all right? So think about your scapula, your shoulder blades like plugs. And they're plugging into an electric socket. Just taking a little bit of a weight through the tricep. You're going to push your, bring your feet in towards your bum. And then we're just going to come up here. Okay, and feel each vertebrae. So don't come up too high. 90, now. I'm gonna draw my abs in. 18. 70, now I want you to think about squeeze at the top, 60. So you just squeeze gently, 50 at the top. My feet are hip distance apart. I'm just distributing that weight, pushing through my heels. So those of you with back problems, don't come up too high. You've just got 10, and 9, and 8, keep going, and 7, breathe, and 6, breathe, and 5. Now, without changing the positioning, 4 of your feet, 3, you're just going to squeeze 2, your knees together, 1, so don't come up, don't flare through those hips. You're just going to squeeze the knees together like you've got a piece of paper in between the knees and hold it here for me. And I want you to squeeze your bum now, okay? So you're really thinking about these hamstrings. Look directly up above you and really feel that nice stretch. Hold it there. Breathe for me because you just got another 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now vertebrae by vertebrae, take it down and relax the psyche of your coccyx there. Now, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left leg. We're gonna make it a little bit harder this time, you're doing 20. So again, just check your positioning where you feel your body is tight. You're gonna push through your left heel, okay? And then we're just gonna come up, yes, and down. 90, I haven't done this one for a long time. Just thinking about it, as you do. 80. It's a great stretch for the piriformis, for the bum, for the hips, and obviously the hamstring as well. The back of the body, the part that we don't see. So I'm looking after it for you. So don't come up too high, even I'm shaking, but I'm pushing through that heel, that left heel. My right leg is pushed over, 10. Now, like I say, if it's too much, nine, just go back into the first position, eight, the first exercise, seven. Now from here, Six, we're gonna do gentle pulses, okay? Five, four, breathe. I can feel my pelvis, three, is shaking too, so I'm just gonna rein it in a little bit now. Little pulses here, 20, 90. Now don't push through that back, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 12. 
11, I'm just planting flexing now my foot down onto the floor, 10 to make sure, 9, 8, 7, 6, then I'm really getting some good work here, 5, 4, breathe, 3, now you're going to hold this, 2, 1, you're going to hold it, you're going to squeeze, relax these shoulders, take a little bit of the weight in towards those arms, push through that heel, and just hold it here, just breathe, ah, breathe out because you just got another 10, 9, Eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently take it down. Well done. So, feet are hip distance apart again. You're going to take that left leg over the right leg, plug those shoulder blades into the ground. Just going to bring my right leg a little bit closer in towards my butt, and then we're going to come up. This is my weaker side. You've always got a weaker side, 90. So, what you're really trying to do is control the stability in the hips. It's a really great core exercise, this one. Keep going. Keep going for me, 50. 40, and breathe. 13, 12, Ooh. 11, can you feel those hips? We've got 10, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, we are nearly finished. Five, breathe, you've got four, and three, are you ready with the pulses? And two, and one, give me the pulses. 20, 90, 80, 70, so don't arch your that back, 60, 15, your bum is off the floor, 40, 30, 12, breathe, 11, 10 left, nine, eight, seven, Six, three, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it here, shall we? Just breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Hold it there. Can you push those hops, hips up a bit further up towards the ceiling for me? Hold it. Hold it there for me because you just got another ten. Nine, eight, seven. Keep going. Six, five, four left. Three, two, one one and gently take it down well done bring those knees in towards the hips and just give yourself a little roll grab behind the backs of your legs i like to grab behind the backs to really give that lumbar part of my spine a good stretch out and then i'm just going to give it another shift to the toes together and come and ride the way over onto the side into the middle i'm just going to do this a few times so if you've had quite a emotional day you might want to spend a little bit longer because apparently this runs along the emotive line of the back. Okay, so there's a lot of tension in that lower part of the back. So it's always nice to feel where you're feeling stiff. So the toes together and I'm just going side to side. One more. Side to side. And then you're just going to grab those legs and come back up for me. Okay, so we're going to go for another 20 of those triceps. Are you ready? Okay, so you've got any wrist problems, like I say, you just take it to here. Think about just pulling the elbows together because you're getting, still getting work, okay? So you come into that reverse tabletop, we flex the foot, so I'm starting on my right leg. So it's in, in, cheeky up and down. In, in, and then push. In, so don't forget to breathe, draw those abs in, so don't collapse through the hips. We're keeping that core nice and strong, okay? It's just up, up, give me that little tricep dip there, up, tricep dip, up, up, breathe, and down, up, up, and down, 50, up, up, and down, 40, up, my chin is slightly into my chest, 30, up, up, 12, up, up, down, 11, down, 10, tricep, I don't know why I'm saying lunge earlier, tricep, see, I feel same as you at home, we're not perfect, definitely not, by no means, and down, but at least we're all moving together, and down, because you just got seven, and down, Six, down, we've got five, down, 
four, down, just three left, so you can have a little breather if you want, but try and keep with me on this, two, last one, one, and take it down, well done, okay, circle through those wrists, really important that we circle through the wrists, circle the other way, now take that hand out so you're going to say stop, and push those fingers back, breathe in, and breathe out, and give you that, that wrist to come to flex, it's important that you do that, so take the other side, and then take it back, Breathe in and then breathe out the other way. And then circling through those wrists and circle the other way. We're gonna roll back down onto the floor. So we're just gonna take our feet slightly flex, take a deep breath, inhale. And then exhale, I want you to bend your knees and I want you just to push the pads of your fingers against the pads of your feet and just give that back a good stretch out there. Now stay here. We're gonna breathe in, I want you to take your palms together. We're gonna to breathe out, T-shape with the spine. Take it all the way over. And then we're just going to bend those legs. Now, we're just going to do a few of these. You're going to come up with your tippy toes. So you're on, on your tippy toes. You're lifting your heels out off the ground. Excuse me, my headband's slipping. You're going to take thumbs into the nape of the neck. Chin slightly tucked into the chest. Okay, so you're not taking any pressure through the neck. And we're just going to push it up and down. 90. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can take those feet down. 80. But this is where I say to you about pulling that tummy navel in towards the mat. I want you to make sure you've got a flat back. So you just come up to where you feel you can comfortably come up. We've got 12. 11. So I pull my abs in now. 10. Pull into level 10. 9. And 8. Can you see I'm not getting too much? 7. It's not about how high you come up. 6. It's about how you're engaging these abs. 5. Breathe. So if you hold on here, four, you can feel you're really working three. You've got two. This is your last one. One, stay here. Take a deep breath and inhale. Exhale, take it down. Well done. Okay. So from here, you're going to just, I want you just to take your taking feet into a reverse tabletop. You don't have to, okay? So you can keep your feet down. And then you're just going to glide your hands over your head and then just sweep them along the floor. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can come up and then take the head down. So we take the arms over the head without arching the back, and then just take it down. So I'm gonna do the higher one here, just to show you. And then we're gonna breathe in, and breathe out. Now my toes are together, my knees are together. Really working those lower abs. You can keep that head down if you want to. And away, and breathe in, and away. Breathe in, and then just exhale out. You've got five, four. So if you feel it through the neck, three, take it down. Two, last one, one, and then just take it all the way down. Well done, one foot and then the other. Now from here, we're gonna do a modified 100. Okay, so we're just gonna take the feet. So today I'm feeling, I wanna take my feet at slightly in a 90 degree angle and I'm gonna bend my knees. Tummy muscles again contracted in towards the mat. If you've got back problems, then you might want to just do the one leg, but I'll count you down from here. We're going straight from 100 down to zero, and I'm going to do me CD counting. Okay, take a deep breath, we inhale, we exhale, we lift up, make those arms long and low. Just going to pulse, okay? So you don't pull through the neck, you try and stay for as long as possible. The minute you pull through the neck, you know that your abs are working, so take it down, draw the abs in, and start again. Keep going. So it's nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, breathe. Four, three, two, one. Six, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three, ten, nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
two, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'll hold it here. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Now grab those legs like handlebars. Can you straighten the legs up for me? Lift that upper torso, chin on top of the chest. Now from here, we're going to grab that leg and we're going to hold it here for ten. I know, nine. So this is your rest period. Eight, seven, six, three, five, four, three, two. Once, if you want to modify, take that neck down, nine, eight, you can do seven, make sure you're not arching that back, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's going to go for 50, 49, 48, so I'm keeping my head still, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, so if you want to take the hands, 42, bring the knee in, don't push down too much, 40, so here's your modification, 39, 38, 37, you do what you can, 36, 35, 34, really elongate that foot, 32, 31, because you've just got 30, just 28, 27, 26, breathe, 5, 24, 3, 2, don't let go of that back, you just got 20 left now, 19, 80, 70, now we're going to hold the back of the legs for 10 seconds on each side, okay? 13, 12, 11, you've got 10, ready? 9, 8, 7, 6 left, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now lift up, hold for 10 seconds for me, 9, point that toe like a Russian ballet dancer, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, pull those shoulders away from the ears. Two, one, we go the other side and we hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, hold on to those abs. Six, five, four left. Three, two, one, one foot down and then the other. Give those tummy muscles a little shake out. Okay, take your knees over in one direction, your arms in the other direction. Take some water if you need to now. Breathe in and breathe out, we're going to take it all the way over, so just the way your knees, knees feel comfortable, shoulders are relaxed, just give those toes a little wiggle for me, so we're going to do another set of that 50, I'm actually going to take some water, the amateur that I am, pull my trousers up, let's readjust ourselves, okay, so we're going to do another set, and this time, you can stick with this one, okay? You can stick with this one. If you want to make it feel a little bit harder, we're just going to tap, okay? So we're going to start off with, like we did the other side, nice hamstring stretch. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7. So really feel that lengthening 6 through the leg, fine, through my spine, 4. I'm thinking about really stretching 3, 2, 1. Other side, hold it there for 10. So if you want to bend that leg, you can. 9, 8, seven, six, five, as I say, I'm not uber flexible, four, by any stretch of the imagination, three, which is why I do Pilates, two, one, so now we make it harder, we tap, 49, tap, 48, now can you see my upper torso is also moving as well, 47, you can stick with that first one, 46, so you can do this, 45, 44, if that back gets sore, 43, but I want you just to have a go, 42, 41, so I'm really moving that upper torso, 38, breathe, 37, tap, 36, tap, 35, just let you feel your own ball, 34, 33, 32, 31, you've got 30, well someone's got it, keep going, 28, 27, 26, breathe, 5, 24, 23, 22, I'm feeling 21, I've just got 20, 90, 80, 70, 16, breathe, 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 left, 5, 4 left, 3, 2, last one, hold it here. Lift the upper torso, point that toe, shoulders away from the ears. I'm really pulling up for 10, 9, I'm keeping my abs drawn in, 8, sure I'm breathing, 7, look at your toes, 6 ahead of you, 5, 4, come on, you can do it, 3, we can do it, 2, 1, other side, hold for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, breathe, four, three, two, one, one foot down, and then the other, give it a little stretch out. We are nearly finished. We just got our plank series to do, and then a little bit of a back stretch, and then I'll let you escape, okay? I did say 35 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna say it's gonna be more than a 40 minute one this one, but you go where you feel necessary. Okay, so we're just gonna take it into a 60 second plank, just, she says. I'll give you modifications. So your first one is you're gonna push up your elbows in line with the shoulder, and you're just gonna show me your palm like this. If that's too much, then just come down onto the elbow and just lift the leg, okay? Modify where necessary. If you wanna make it even harder, you can lift that leg. Let's go for 20, even harder. 90, 80, 70, 16. So you can hold onto the mat for a little bit of support, but you are pushing 14, 13, 12, feeling heat in the hips, 11, 10. And we're trying to not let this rib cage flare. Eight, seven, we're pulling our abdominals in underneath the rib cage, six, Five, breathe, four, going over, three, two, one. So I really want you to think about elongating through that spine. Now you can lift the leg if you want to, don't have to. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, breathe for me. 13, 12, 11, keep going, 10, nine, eight, can you take it back up, seven, six, breathe, five, four left, three, two, and one, back up for 20. 18, 17, 16, push up through that hip, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10 left, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, stay there, 4, 3, 2, 1, take it down, well done, okay, you're coming onto the opposite side, you nearly finished, 95% of the way, okay, deep breath, inhale, so this is option number one, option number two, Let's go for 20, 19, 18, breathe, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, you've got 8, keep going, 7, 6, 5, 4, don't forget to breathe, 3, 2, 1, now remember what I said to you about that rib cage, you can take it down on the leg up or modify it here, 20, but make sure that those ribs don't flare, 18, 17, 16, 15, 40, 13. I'm just looking at my elbow, 12, because I'm aware 11 that I was slipping. 10, 9, 8, or you're here, look, 7, 6, 5, 4, watch this hand, 3, 2, 1, back up for 20, 19. So you know who you are, you want to modify. 18, 17, you go within your limits. 14, 13, breathe, 12, 11 left, you got 10. And nine, eight, seven, breathe, six, five, four left, three, two, and one. Take it down, well done. Take it into child's pose, come onto your knees, and then you're just gonna push back a wide stand to child's pose. So take your cushion or your towel, wherever you are, and then just stay here and get your breath. You are nearly there. Okay, so we're gonna come into plank position. I'm going to give you some alternatives on this one, okay? So you're going to come up and then you're just going to take it to the one side. You're going to watch your back, hold on to those abs. We're going to do 20 on the right side, 20 staying on the same side, and then 20 in the middle, okay? So this is down, and then we're just going 20 into the middle, 19, so take it to the right, 18, so it's just the one side. Now as you bring those hips down, you are resisting on the other side, so we're getting to really work into those side obliques. All right, now, sh making sure that your head is in line with the spine, but if you feel tired, just try to keep that head up and not really look too much down, and then we can take it up as well. And then we just stay on the one side. 19, so we're just going to the right. 18, and then middle. 17, middle. 16, middle. So it's like a little shimmy on that one hip. 15, middle. 14, hold on to those side of these. 13, 12, breathe. 11, 10, 9, we've got the other side. 8 as well, don't forget. 7, 6, stay with me, come on. 5, I know you're getting tired. 4, but we can do it. 3, we. 2, other side. 
one, over on the other side, 20, so we're going to the left now, look, 90, my hips going over, 80, middle, 70, middle, 60, middle, 15, draw those shoulders away from the ears, so look, here's the modification, 14, try not to push through those shoulders, too much, you are getting work through them, which is good, 11, 10, 9, again, I'm just working the back of your body, 8, 7, the bits that we don't get to see, 6, Five, four, get rid of that full plank. Three, you ready? Two, and then you are finished. One, hold it, 20 seconds, nice straight. Back, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Don't let those hips go up, stay up for me. 12, 11, 10, breathe, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, two, and one. Take it down. That was a Susie special, it has to be said. Take it right the way back. Take it onto your front now, just to work the back a little bit. Nice stretch. Elbows directly underneath your chest, just draw your shoulder blades down your back. Let your head relax. Now you're just gonna push it, take a deep breath in, palms together. Exhale, now draw those abdominals into that level 10. You can really feel that you've worked them away. Just push your shoulders down towards your ankles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done, everything's gonna be okay. You've done so well. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Hold it there, shoulders away from the ears. Breath in, exhale, take it down. We're just gonna take those hands out. Relax these shoulders, just relax your bum a second. Let's just do a little bit of back work here. Take your thumbs in line with the eyebrows. The elbows are in line with the shoulders. My shoulders are completely relaxed and I'm really thinking about lengthening through my spine. So it's not about how high you lift. Take a deep breath, keep that chin tucked into the chest. Inhale, my abdominals are at level 10. Exhale, and just lift up. Do not push too hot. Far, and I don't want you to push through the arms. We're really using our spines here. So take a breath in, inhale. Exhale, and take it down. Give the bubble wiggle, we go again. Pull those abs into level 10, tight. Breathe in, support that back, breathe out, just stay here. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you can lift the arms. You don't have to. And the legs. So you stay in the position that you feel the most comfortable. You are getting work in the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax, relax, relax. So it's that relaxation and then the tension, the contraction. And then you're really starting to let that back get strong. So we go again. Draw the abs in. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the head. And lift the arms if you want to. Shoulders and legs, if you want to, hold it there. Now I want you to try to bring those elbows down the back. Thinking about that nice gap, it's like a swan. Okay, you're holding it here. Bringing those elbows into the rib cage. We take a deep breath, we inhale, close your eyes. Visualize your stretch, don't look at me. Take those hands parallel back, El uh, the elbows in line with the shoulders. We breathe in, breathe out and just take it down. Relax, give your bum a wiggle. Let's go one more time. So close your eyes, and just listen to what I say. Pull in those abdominals as tight as possible. Take a deep breath, inhale. Lift your head, your shoulders, your arms and your legs if you want to. Spread those fingers, palms down towards the floor. We lift those legs, we keep that chin tucked into the chest, keep it down in line with the spine. And you're just gonna hold it here for 10. I want you to breathe, nine, eight, seven. Really feel that lengthening, six, five, through the spine, four, three, two, one, and take it back down, I'll take it into a counter stretch, give it a good stretch out for me there, well done, and then we're going to come up onto the tips of our fingers, just to give that back a little stretch, make a C-shape spine, and relax the shoulders, turn the body off now, imprint those hands into the mat, and then just give yourself a nice pelvic tip. Into downward dog, so one heel back into the corner of the mat, and then the other, and let's push back through those heels, I don't care if you can't get them down, just push back. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Enjoy this little inversion, inverted movement. Breathe in, breathe out, take them feet underneath the hips, walk those hands slowly back in towards the feet. Stay here with those soft knees. Stay there, take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let's roll up nice and slowly. Five, four, three, two, one, and draw those shoulder blades back and down. Come into a clear position for me. Just adjust your trousers, put your hands in prayer position, take a deep breath in, inhale, 
and then exhale, go again deep breath, inhale, exhale, I hope you feel better after this workout, I know I do, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing and thank you for supporting me here in South Africa, exhale, take it down, so don't forget to like and subscribe Susie's Pilates and where you can, please donate, like, share the page, anything helps, have a great day, God bless, bye bye.